Hey guys, welcome back to part two of Metal Gear Solid 4. Obviously this is the follow up to number one because number one was so heavily cutscene based. So hopefully this one will have more gameplay in it. So let's start this. to go. You've got an old friend waiting for you. Otacon. The test results. Proteome analysis was positive. But the mRNA analysis turned up negative. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic fairness syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So... Well... Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say... A year at best, right? Snake, let's try another doctor. It won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox Die. You're right. But we don't know where Naomi is. Not a colonel anymore, Snake. I figured the only place I'd see you dressed like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. <laughs> I'll explain along the way. We've got to stop him. Now. Before it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We found him. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down.
only two eggs today? Polidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, seven, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five, four, eight, eight, two, oh, four, six, six, five, two. What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned? Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area, as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay, do not adjust your sets. We are seven minutes in, we've actually hit gameplay. By the way, if you're wondering why there's suddenly dead zones on the controller, it's because I'm currently using the DualShock 4. Because my DualShock 3 is kind of broken. So, if this, if it suddenly seems like I'm moving from movement, like I'm going in and out of fast crawling to the uh, slow crawling, it's because it's probably that. It is probably that. Avoid unnecessary combat whenever possible. In this war, neither side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Got it? And there's one thing I will say that uh, kind of um, surprise me from Metal Gear Solid 3 to this at least and that's the introduction of the Octal Camo now the reason why oh yeah now, the reason why this surprised me was because in Resident Evil 3 I mean obviously you've got you had to it was more espionage because you had to use various camouflages to hide your presence but in this one, the auto camo just feels rather cheap and just like an easy way to get rid of it. I mean, you, you can use the manual auto camo, which does take some away, but... I don't know. I just, I just don't think it was one of the best features of this game. And there are a lot of good things about this game.
Good night. You can pick up guns dropped by both the militia and the PMCs. Remember though, PMC weapons are locked. You can't use them. If only there was some way to get rid of the locks. Foreshadowing. Epic foreshadowing. I think I'll cut it off uh, just after the cutscene with the Mark II. Uh, that's what I think I'll leave it. But no, something that I did like about this game was how the chapters, they're not all in singular locations, they're all all over the world. And some of the resurgence of a lot of old villains come into play. I mean, obviously the recurring, recurring villain, uh, Liquid Ocelot. Or Ocelot or Liquid Snake, whichever you, you want to prefer. In the end, it's spoilers. In the end, it's all Ocelot anyway, who went through a lot of psychiatric therapy to imprint the personality of Liquid Snake onto his own. Uh, but then you've also got Vamp who comes back. He uh, he was one I was very surprised to see come back. Like uh, that that was one that I was not that I did not see coming. And also, um, avoid com please avoid comments about mentioning things that I'm possibly missing. Uh, the, the things that I'm missing on a deliberate point because I'm trying to get uh, sub five hours on the playthrough. Just a bit far. I'm also trying to avoid detection very, very much. This guy here is going to be a guy I'm just going to take out as soon as he turns around. I'm most likely going to fail at this. And I'm probably going to use as little saves as possible, but if I do mess something up and have to cut away, I will uh, edit it out to where... Uh... Good night. I will edit it out to where uh... you don't have to see me constantly having to uh, reload saves. Well, up to now, it's pretty solid. Sneaky. Keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear. That's right. Just like Rex. But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. Mm, wish I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. I installed a suppressor. 
And here's a tranquilizer gun. Oh, how thoughtful. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days, finding decent guns that aren't controlled. you wherever you go, like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. And people of the internet, this is where the run officially begins. But, like I said, I have to cut it off here. Part 3 will definitely be a lot more gameplay, because from here on out, it's pretty much solid gameplay near enough all the way through. So, hopefully you'll stick around for Part 3. I'll have Part 3 out as soon as I can. And, again, my name, my name is Dancer Crisis. Signing off.